we're making keto hostess snowballs. Let's go. A few of our subscribers, Lana and Michael, asked me to create keto hostess snowballs after seeing me post a Durban snowballs recipe. And I think I am the first on YouTube to create a keto hostess snowball, which is very popular in the United States and of course Australia. Hi, I'm Mel, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do take a look around at our other recipes. And if you love what you see, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new recipe. Now, I do love the Durban snowballs. And when you guys told me about Hostess snowballs, I was super excited to try it because who doesn't love a good snowball? I was imagining the soft chocolate cake with the inner and outer marshmallow and then covered in desiccated coconut. And then I began salivating. Now I altered my keto sponge cake recipe to make a beautiful dark chocolate cupcake. And for the marshmallow component, I used Vanaza's recipe because with the way she explained it, it just spoke to me, but I will leave a link in the description box if you want to go check out her original video. Now, before you ask, I am going to do Twinkies soon because I've just got my Twinkie molds. But for now, let's make keto hostess snowballs. I've got here 195 grams of almond flour. To that, add seven grams of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and 60 grams of powdered sweetener. And I use a blend of stevia and monk fruit. To get our cupcakes really dark, I'm using 100% deep black cocoa powder and we need 45 grams. This is what it looks like, but you can also use normal cocoa powder. It'll just mean that you get a chocolate color. Give it a whisk to incorporate all of the dry ingredients and it's ready when it looks like this. For the wet, add 135 grams of heavy cream, 109 grams of water and three whisked eggs and give it a final mix using a whisk and it will end up looking like this. It is best to use a silicone cupcake mold as with a metal mold, the cupcakes turn a bit browner underneath, but use the metal if that's all you have. Also, my mold is for a standard cupcake and I have it on a rack so it's easy to transport to the oven and back. Using a large scoop, fill the cupcakes to about three quarter full, which should give you 11 cupcakes. And this is what they look like perfect underneath and soft. To make sugar-free marshmallows, we are first going to prepare the gelatin. To a bowl, add 238 grams of water and sprinkle 60 grams of gelatin powder over the water. Then let it sit for 10 minutes and it'll look like this. Next, we will make a simple syrup. Over a medium heat, add 238 grams of water and 20 grams or two thirds of a cup of sweetener to a saucepan and bring the mixture to a rolling boil and I got the temperature to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Most important thing being you should use the syrup while it's boiling. Do not let it cool. Using a hand or stand mixer, whisk the gelatin and while you're whisking, drizzle the boiling syrup into the gelatin mixture. After two minutes, scrape down the sides of the bowl and add 20 grams of vanilla and then keep whisking until the mixture thickens and is smooth. And mine took a further five minutes. If the marshmallow mixture solidifies, you can always add hot water, about a third of a cup at a time to loosen it up by whisking. We need it to look like this so it pours over the cupcakes. To create that inner marshmallow filling, we need to make a hole in the cupcake. I'm using a melon baller because it has sharp edges and it will give me great depth. Add about two teaspoons of the marshmallow mixture to the hole you have created in the cupcake. Then to create a lid, cut the cutout piece of the cupcake in half and stick it back into the hole and press down. We are just going to color some coconut. Because I used different colors, I did one third of a cup of desiccated coconut with a drop of food color and combined. And it looks like this. 
do get your marshmallow mixture to be smooth and runny again and then completely cover a cupcake with the mixture. Lift and clean the edges, then completely cover in colored coconut. As you can see, I had lots of fun making different colors. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. And a little confused as to which snowball I prefer, the Durban snowballs or the Hostess snowballs. Anyway, I hope you get to make this recipe and I hope you love it. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and be well.